Hey friends, it's Simon Hurley from Simon Hurley Create, and I'm here with Crayola to share another fun card making video. Today, I'm going to be using the pearlescent cream sticks from Crayola to do some really fun coloring on your cards and give you guys some awesome techniques to get some cool pearlescent watercolor effects. So without further ado, let's turn down to my work surface and get right into the card. All right, so today I'm using these pearlescent cream sticks, as I mentioned, and we're gonna do some really fun coloring and stamping so you guys can get some beautiful results once you're finished. So once again, for today's video, I'm going to be using a coloring book from Crayola. This is the Florals Coloring Book, and there are tons of flowers in here for you to pick out, use, and color with. So I have ripped out a sheet here that I'm going to be using and coloring, and I'll pick and choose a couple different flowers that I want to color and cut out for my card. Okay, so we're gonna end up coloring a flower that looks just like this. So I'm gonna walk you guys through exactly how I did that. So let's turn this sheet and make sure that we have a full flower here. I like to make sure that the flower isn't being covered up by others because we're gonna cut this out and use it as a focal point, and we want the whole thing on the front of our card. So I'm gonna bring in some of these pearlescent cream sticks. They come in this really awesome tin for storage, and I've pulled out a couple of the colors that I wanna use for today's project. So I'm gonna start off with kind of the center of the flower, and I'll go in with a little bit of yellow. Now these have a little cap on them, and then they're almost like a lipstick at the end. That's kind of the consistency that I would give these. They're nice and soft and really creamy to apply on the surface of your cardstock. So then I'll go in with a little bit of orange circuit, and I'm going to bring it in the center. Now you guys can see, I'm just going in and kind of messily coloring these in. I think they'd be great to color in images like this, or even go in and make some really awesome backgrounds on your card, which I'll share with you guys in just a little bit. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of red to the edge. And you can see it doesn't really matter where you apply these if you're going to water and blend them out like I'm going to in a little bit because you'll kind of see them blend together and kind of mix. Um, and you won't really be able to see the lines that you first originally colored once you're done. So then to do a little bit of green, I'm going to go in with this emerald cream stick and I'm going to just bring it into these leaves and color some of this down. And then I wanna add a little bit of yellow. So you can kind of mix colors to create your own new color. So I'll go in with a little bit of golden yellow and just apply it kind of in the center of those leaves. And that's just gonna make a warmer color when we blend that together and um, create a whole new color, which I think is awesome. And one cool part about these is once that tip is kind of getting low, you can twist on the end and that will release more of the cream stick. So you're really able to get a full use out of these because there's a lot more in the barrel. There's a couple ways you can blend this out. Now you can smudge it with your finger, which is kind of a fun way to move them around. You can see that that blended a little bit together, but we're not gonna get the fine detail with our finger that we want to blend and color this in with. So I'm gonna go in with a Crayola paintbrush here and we're gonna do a little bit of water coloring. So I like to spray a little bit of water down onto my surface. If you're gonna do this, make sure your surface is protected like mine with a piece of plastic or something like that. Or you can just grab a dish and put some water on the inside. Now I'm just gonna to touch my brush to this water. I don't want a lot of water because you have to remember we are working on a coloring sheet here which isn't super thick. But thankfully you can see here that these cream sticks don't need a lot of water to blend out. So I don't need to keep dipping into that water to blend these out. I can just go in with that little tiny bit of water that we added in the beginning to mix these together and to blend them. And the thing that's really cool about these is you can see, like I said at the beginning, those lines kind of just disappear and it gives you this really creamy and pearlescent kind of watercolor look on your card. So then I'm going to kind of continue coloring this in. I'll dip into a little bit more water when I need it and blend these out. Okay, so once I'm done watercoloring in those, I wanna go in with a paper towel or a rag here on the side to clean off my color in between, and then I'll move on into my leaves. You wanna make sure you clean it off so that you don't get a bunch of red up in your green leaves here. So then I'll go in and blend these out as well, and the same thing applies to this. I'm just gonna go in and take a little bit of water. It really is super simple to do this. There's not really a technique, as long as you just kind of stay in the lines and pull your color around, you should be good to go. These are really easy to blend and work with. All right, so once this is all dry, you should have some flowers that look like this, and then I'm going to go in and cut around these so I can use them for the front of my card. And I'm gonna give a couple tips for kind of fussy cutting around an image to make sure that you get those lines really nice. 
So one thing that I like to do is just leave a little bit of a white border around the image and that's going to give you a really easy way to skip through some of those really intricate details like you had on the leaves there. And then I'm just following right along that image and I like to move the cardstock around instead of moving my scissors. I find that it keeps my line really nice and smooth as I'm cutting things out. And you do this for a lot of different cards. And the reason I'm gonna do this is I want to create a background for the card, but if you wanted to, you could color in like a full section of this image and just cut it down and apply that to a card as well. So I'm gonna finish cutting these out and I'll be right back. So now let's move on to using these pearlescent sticks to create a background for our card that the flowers can sit on really nicely. Now for this, I'm going to be using a little bit of a heavier weight cardstock so I can add a little bit more water to it. But again, you could totally use construction paper. Just be careful with how much water you apply if you're doing that. But if you need to add a little bit more water, then definitely move to a heavier cardstock. So I'm going to grab the sky blue color and I'm going to just create a nice blue background for these flowers. And to do that, I'm literally just going to lay down some of the color and scribble it all the way down. It really is that easy to create a background with these. I love how simple it is to just apply some color. And the more you press down, the more pigment you're going to apply. So if you want a really pigmented background, apply a little bit more color then. And you could honestly totally leave this background as is. I think it's kind of cool with that texture that you have there. And then you could apply your flowers on there. But I'm gonna go in and add a little bit of water so you guys can see how it blends out as a background. So again, take a dish of water, or for me, in my case, I'm spraying it down onto my protected surface. Then I'll go in with another Crayola paintbrush. This time it's a flat brush so I can easily get a large surface area. And then I'll go in here and start blending this out. And you can see that as we go in with this brush, you'll see that that kind of blends together and mixes just like it did on that image that we created earlier. So I'm just going to go in, you'll see it kind of watering out and you get this really cool background. All right, so once I'm done painting this, I'm going to set it aside to dry and then we can apply our flowers right on top. Now let's work on the sentiment. For this, I'm going to be using the liquid metal craft markers. And to do this, I'm going to go in and share with you guys how to get one of these markers started. And these markers will start with a white tip, just like this one you see. Then you can go in on your surface and start pumping the tip of the marker down onto the cardstock. So keep pumping your marker until you see a little bit of that metallic ink moving down and then just kind of hold it on the surface here until it travels to the tip of the marker. So I'm going to use this rose gold color to go in and do my sentiment. I'm just gonna do a quick thank you. So let's write down thank you and I'm just gonna do this in my own handwriting. You could of course use stamps or something like that if you want to too. There's lots of great sentiment stamps but I'm just gonna go in here and this is really easy to do and super fun with these markers. So once I finished writing my sentiment with those liquid metal markers, I'm just going to go in and cut off the edge and then we have ourselves a finished off sentiment that's ready to add onto our card. So now let's move on into making ourselves a card base for all of the images that we've colored and created for our cards. Now for this, I like to use a little bit of a heavier weight cardstock, but you could also use construction paper if that's what you have on hand. So I like to go in with an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock, and you could either cut it down the long ways or you could cut it in half this way. They're both gonna give you different effects, but they give you the same size card in the end. Let me show you guys. So this one, the one that is cut the long way, I'm gonna go in and I like to use a little scoring tool, but if you're using construction paper, this shouldn't be an issue because it's not gonna be super thick. So I'm going to go in here, line up both ends, and then go in and crease this down. This is going to give us a really awesome top folding card base. So this is what you don't really usually find in stores. I like to make my cards like this quite a bit because it gives you kind of that extra handmade effect since there aren't many cards like this. Now this I'm going to take and fold again just in half. And this can be really great because you can still open it up on the top if you have some longer images this way or you can open it sideways like this. So let's go in with this card to finish it off. All right, so this should be pretty easy to adhere everything together. I like to use a tape runner, but you could use double-sided tape or the Crayola glue stick. And I'm just going to go in here and apply adhesive on the back of my background. 
And if you're doing a background that's the same size as this card, which is four and one fourth inches by five and a half, you're just going to line it up with the top corner and then along the side and then lay it down and it's gonna line up perfectly with your card. And of course, if it doesn't, you can always go in and cut off any of the excess on the side. So I'll just go in here, add some double-sided tape to the back of these images and adhere it down onto the card. And then you could either add it like front and center on your card or in some of the open space. And I think I'm gonna add it more centered. I like the look of that because it draws your eye right to the center of the cards. I'm gonna go in with a large pair of scissors and just kind of cut off any of the excess that could be hanging over the edge. All right, so here is a look at the finished card. I love how those pearlescent cream sticks are so easy to color with and give you a really awesome colored in image that's nice and pearlescent when you shift it in the light. And also how we created that background with it too. I think it makes them really versatile. You can color in backgrounds or different images and get a really cool watercolor but very pigmented look. Now I want to show you guys a more advanced version of stamping with these pearlescent cream sticks. So I love stamping and using some stamps to create some really cool colored effects and these pearlescent cream sticks are perfect for that. Then I'm going to go on to a rubber stamp. Now this one's from my collection from Simon Hurley Create called Flower Garden and I'm going to pick one of these flowers out that I want to use um, to color and do some stamping with. Now of course you could color this whole background but for the sake of time today I'm just going to go in with a couple of the images. So I'm just gonna go in, and you don't wanna press too hard onto this since there's some different grooves that the, you know, the crayon could go in and kinda get stuck underneath there. So I'm just going to go in and kinda lightly color on the surface to apply some of that pigment onto that stamp. And this rubber stamp is gonna take that color really well. You can kinda see it applying onto there. And I'm just gonna do it all over on the stamp to make sure that it's going to give me a really great color. Then let's go into stamping with this. So then I'm going to spray the surface of that stamp. You can even go in with your finger and just kind of move some of that color around to make sure that it's mixing and blending on there. So make sure that it's going to color and blend really nicely. And then I can go in with, you know, a card base or, you know, whatever you really want to to stamp it down, a piece of cardstock or construction paper. Then I'll go in, apply an even pressure on the back of your cardstock to make sure that's going to transfer really nicely. And then you can lift it off and see that awesome flower that you get. All right, so here is a look at that finished stamped effect. So of course you could cut this out or leave this card like this and add a sentiment. I went in on one of my card examples, and cut it out and add it onto a similar scribbled background. So if you have stamps in your collection or are interested in getting them, these pearlescent sticks are gonna do a really great job at coloring on that stamp and giving you a cool watercolor effect as well as coloring in your images like you saw. All right guys, I hope you really enjoyed seeing these different coloring and stamping examples using the pearlescent sticks. I think these are so much fun to create with and there is endless possibilities of what you could do to get some really awesome painted and colored in effects. If you guys try the awesome projects that we shared in today's video, be sure to use the hashtag Crayola Crafts so we can see your projects on social media. And also, if you're interested in any of the Crayola products you saw, be sure to visit crayola.com crafts to purchase any of the supplies. You can find more inspiration and card making videos from me on YouTube at Simon Hurley. And you can also find my full card making product line with stamps and designs that pair perfectly with the mediums and products that you see from Crayola. And you can find my line at rangerinc.com underneath the Simon Hurley Create section. You can also find me on Instagram at Inclips, which is I-N-K-L-I-P-S-E. All right, guys, I hope you found this inspiring. I had so much fun crafting along with you today, and I'll see you very soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye.